Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of halfway there when I said that you needed to put your virtual camera in your renders where it was in relation to the image you're mapping on. So if there is a painting, there's always a point of view where the painter was sitting or imagining himself while he was painting this image. And you need to find this particular spot and you need to introduce a camera into your 3D software or whatever you're using to render your stuff. But there is a way of doing uh, this and that kind of perfectly on a virtual basis. Follow me. Let's pretend we want to project onto this painting of a building. Let's talk about augmenting a painting, like up here, you know? Click here to see my last video on augmented paintings. And we know the measurements of this building in real life, but how to find the position where the painter was when he drew this. In Blender we create some object that can serve as a physical surface for if we want to for example, splash some water onto it. But how to find the position of the camera? Well, I have the camera here and maybe we just position the camera and we eyeball the whole thing a little, turn it around a bit. Uh, and this, as you can see, is going to take ages. Uh, we don't want that. There is an easy way to do this and it's an app called FSpy. I will link them below. Here we import the image that we're going to project on and oops, it's a little dark so you can undim it but if you want to see the lines properly, well, these are the lines that will help us find the vanishing points. We can choose up to two vanishing points. So let's check in Blender. Um, this side of the building is my epsilon axis. This is my x axis and uh, whoops, it seems that yeah, right. It's the other way around. What shall we do? Not too bad. Let's just invert the X. And now let's put these lines onto the most obvious lines in our image. The axes, axes, what's the plural of axis? Uh, please comment below to scholar me on my English. I'm um, just give it a rough try here. And if you hold down shift while clicking, you will have a magnified crosshair where you can just aim as precise as possible onto the borders of this architecture. Let's try the roof. And when you're done and it is almost perfect, just point the pivot where the origin of your blender object is. Now we can add in one more dimension because this is such a nice building and we have these nice axes. Please tell me how it's pronounced. And here we are for the next one. So this seems to be the middle of our image. And this is the origin. And there is one more thing we can do. Uh, I know that the building is 12 meters high on the z-axis. So this one here, let's try to reference 12 meters in this area, on this axis. Now we save the whole thing. I called it camera position already. Uh, when I tried it out, not to mess up this tutorial too much. Going back to Blender, and if you install the add-on properly under File, Import, you should now find FSpy. Go there, choose your camera position fspy file that you just created and whoops, like magic, your camera is where it's supposed to be. So this is the right angle and now you can start rendering out your physics. If this is what you came here for, please check out fspy under the link below to make your life a little easier. And to make your life even more easy, just subscribe to this channel for even more tutorials and I'll be seeing you next time.